Hello everyone, my name is Lance with Left Beer Design. This is a video on how to configure the end trip and cellular modem portion of the Novatel Smart MR15 receiver. Uh, normally you would only use one configuration window, but I'm going to use two, that way you can see the changes that I make and see the, the effect of that immediately. So in the top left corner I'm going to use that window for the configuration, in the bottom right I'm going to use that for status. Uh, currently the receiver is just running autonomously, so it's just a, uh, an autonomous GPS fix. Uh, if I go to configuration, you're get, the first thing you need to do is enable the cellular modem so it knows that it can get on the, the cellular network. Uh, you can do that by going to receiver settings, cellular modem, and for right now I'm going to go view cellular status. In the other, other window where I'm going to make the configuration changes at, I'm going to, get to go to the same spot, but this time I'm going to configure cellular. And if you're using a Verizon uh, CDMA modem, you want to do the top half, which for Verizon you just click set. There's really nothing else to do. If you're using a GPRS network on a GPRS modem, you have to type in the APN name and hit set for that system. And what you will see happen then, on the at least on the Verizon side, which is what I'm using here for the demonstration, it'll say provisioning for a little bit, which is uh, means basically it's talking to the cellular network and getting an idea of what towers it can use. And this takes 30 seconds or a minute to do. While it's provisioning, it just just let, leave it be, it'll download some stuff and do some things in the background and, and pretty soon it'll say enabled again when it's happy. Once that's done, we'll need to go back to cellular modem and this time we'll have to configure ntrip. See now down here on the right it's enabled, we've got an IP address and we've got uh, in our case four bars, which is good signal. So on the configuration side we need to do two things. We need to set the ntrip caster and then tell it what stream it about. So the first thing we're going to do is set the ntrip caster and I've already typed in this information. This is the Iowa Department of Transportation IP address and port number, so I'm going to click set and uh, the receiver gets that information. You won't see any changes here. Uh, while we're at it, I'm actually going to change to view entry status. It'll just say disconnected here. And on the top side, I'm going to then go back to configure entry, and this time I'm going to tell it to mount a stream. So again, I've already typed all this information in. There's a uh, the mount point that I'm going to use is RTSM th RTCM3 underscore max. This is my username and password. Uh, the data format in this case is RTCM version 3, and I want to send in a GGA string every 10 seconds. So when I click set, the modem will try connecting, and it should start streaming here in a little bit. And it is, and there's uh, data, bytes received from the network now. So, that, so data is coming in. So now when we go to position status tab, we should see this change from an autonomous fix to DGPS, which it just did. And uh, unfortunately my receiver is in a somewhat shaded area, so it's not going to get to a fixed solution quite as quickly as it would if it was out in an open area. But um, we're getting correction data, one or two seconds of age, that's good. It's going to stay on a float RTK for a little bit, and assuming that you were in and out in an open area, this would go to a fixed RTK solution probably within 15 to 20 seconds. Uh, in the shaded area it may sit on float for a minute. But that's the extent of configuration on the MR15 for the Entrip client. That's that's it. You just uh, tell it to be on the cellular network, tell it what caster to use, and then tell it what mount point to use, and uh, username and password that are associated with that connection. And that's it. Let it go. And when you're all done making your setting changes, and you have the same thing running like you want to, don't forget to click Save Configuration. That way, when you reboot it, it will continue to do the same thing. That's it. Have a great day. If you have any questions, leave me a comment or send me an email. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye.